All right, my lovelies. Uh, it's Johnny by Faith with you again. I don't know. I am going to uh, settle on a name eventually. So excited, I want to actually uh, produce a video right away. And uh, this is uh, uh, my own personal um, affirmations that I came up with, having to do with abundance, needing, wanting, having, uh, and everything like that. The point of which is to change our beingness. Changing one's beingness is somewhat related to this book, The Art of Soaring. This has to do with magic, practical magic in a way, by these characters, in uh, renaming yourself. Uh, my name is, uh, I'm the ringmaster with a 40-foot mirrored hat. I bring enchantment to children of all ages. The ringmaster. So, um, you could say there's some beingness in here. Science of getting rich. Wallace D. Wattles. He's practical too. He's like, uh, you should do something that you can do. Have some actual skills. Be fitted and suited for the thing that uh, you want to work on. And, uh, you know, follow through on that. And then do things in a certain way if you want to make money. And uh, a certain way for him means, uh, you know, putting all power in all actions. In other words, having a lot of uh, focused energy. Don't let things slip from your hands. Um, then, you know, you've got psycho, psycho cybernetics. There's a book, Maxwell Maltz, isn't it? It's a plastic surgeon, and uh, his whole insight, you know, was that um, you can change people on the outside, but they don't necessarily change on the inside. Interesting. Um, so he his work is all about changing your self-image. Anyway, these are my affirmations that I came up with all on my own, and I think they're powerful. And um, I'm going to lay them on you. I do not need... Someone said, um, you know, there's four words you shouldn't say, like need, want, something else, and something else. That's also part of the LOA, Law of Attraction. If you need something or want something, uh, the needing and wanting will continue. I do not need, I have. I do not want, I own. I could just as well say I possess. I do not wish for, I manifest. Right? In a sense, wishing puts it out in someone else's hands. Manifesting is you uh, using your own power. I do not seek. I am. I mean, who teaches you about your own power of I am-ing? I know. The great I am is God. You see that a lot in the Old Testament, you know. I did this and I did that and I came because I am. So... Even though I have this in uppercase, you could say it's lowercase. Um, Neville Goddard, man, I don't know. It's a little blasphemous in a way. Making us to be like God. My old church, World Wide Church of God, had this belief that God was sharing, going to be sharing his godness, his, the Godhead, that uh, that's where we were heading to being like gods. Ye are gods. I do not worry. I celebrate. That's what I do. I celebrate life, man. It's worth celebrating. I do not complain. I transform. Hey, man, I'm not saying I do these things all the time, but this, this, this speaking, these words are my commitment. 
I do not consume. I create. Yes, of course, I consume things and I buy things. But generally speaking, I don't lust after things. And I like to think of myself as much a creator as a consumer and leaning more towards creating. And even creating, I've got a little bit of a problem with. I mean, you know, using the resources of the world, right? Nobody needs another T-shirt. All that to say, I am pure magic. Magic is over here. Soaring book. The Art of Soaring. And I've actually added two more here in uh, my own handwriting. I have everything I need. I need everything I have. I like that. Um, I do have a variation on that that I use, which is, um, you know, I find everything I need. Uh, it's my walking down the street on recycling night or <laughs> trash night. I'm like, those are some, those are some knobs I need. And they came to me. I chase after nothing and nothing chases after me. I like that. It's powerful. Uh, sure, pursue, uh, my teacher. Sophie makes a distinction between desire and ambition for her. Desire is wanting but not doing anything about it other than maybe making a vision board or envisioning, right, like some of these other people and then somehow being psych psychologically satisfied that you have it. Now, isn't that funny? When they say, the mind doesn't know the difference between something that's real and something that's vividly imagined. Well, you could say the downside to that, if it's true, is that uh, if you vividly imagine having something, then uh, you may already get the reward, the you know, neurotransmitter dump uh, that... <laughs> Makes you feel as though you have this thing that you want, and then you stop uh, pursuing it. Ambition, on the other hand, is the willingness to work for something to make it happen. Now you know how uh, unsuccessful 99% of people are with the law of attraction, and of course, they revise it to saying, Oh, yeah, but you got to do stuff. So, um, I don't know, I do like to hear stories about people visualizing, creating, inviting, and uh, manifesting things into their lives. I would say, for me, uh, yeah, I happily receive anything that just shows up. Send money. Become a Patreon. Uh, a Patreon patron. Um, but... Just as much is the reprogramming of the mind to think that I could become the kind of person who. And that's the thing. Uh, T. Harv Eckerd. E-K-E-R. T. Harv. T. Not actually uh, an abbreviation of a name. T. Standing for the. The Harv Eckerd. I don't know what his book is, The Millionaire Mindset. He says it's not so much about making the money. And many, I think other people have said the same thing too. It's not really so much about making the money. It's about who you need to become and who you do become on the path to that, right? You know, The Millionaire Mindset. I think it's a real thing, right? Of course, it helps to have rich parents. Uh, but you know, and to have actual skills in money acquisition, money making, having a high paying job, uh, monetizing the value that you have, um, and having uh, um, um, familiarity with all of those things, right? Mm -hmm. Actual practice with them. But you give a million dollars to someone uh, who just uh, got it on a scratchy. And uh, they don't know what to do with it. 
Actually, they think they're rich because they have a million dollars. They don't know anything about investing and money managing. And then uh, all the uh, relatives come uh, out of the woodwork and, um, you know, a few hundred lap dances later, it's all gone. Anyway, this has been me. This has been us. Uh, you know, you can't stop me. I just like to go on and on, and I'll see you again if you tune in. Thanks for joining me. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment that helps the algorithm. We're monetizing attention, in this case yours, and uh, I will pay you back with a wish that you may be abundant, happy, healthy, whole, prosperous, and contented at every moment of your life. Yeah, how was that? Okay, bye.